All right, ladies and gentlemen, Ben Dixon here. Uh, super excited to uh, share this episode of MLM Monday with you. I brought on the line uh, Marshall Kane today, one of our account executives here at Naxon. Marshall, thanks for joining us. How are you doing? Awesome. Thank you for coming with Marshall for this week's session. It is Thanksgiving week here in America, the week we eat a ton of food and share all the things we're thankful for. And I thought, how perfect is Thanksgiving week with the show for us to take a moment here today and take a moment and actually share how we can recognize distributors, different ideas for recognition to show them that we're thankful for them in our lives. Now, there's a lot of different ways you can recognize your people yep. and ways you do that's affected today. And I, I brought Marsh with because it's a good conversation to think about for the culture of your company. Now, one of the pieces that I think is really key uh, to connect on when you're looking at how recognition and how to show you people you're thankful for them right, are things you can do that play into how your company already operates. And so mm -hmm. some of you have companies where you don't get together physically very much at all. Maybe it's a, it's a training you do twice a year or, or quarterly trainings. And others you have businesses where like five days a week people are out doing presentations together. And so there's some very different things you can do for recognition. And I wanted to share some of those ideas with you. So, so Marshall, I know that you have some insight on this as well. For the companies that are getting together like five, six days a week, right, the people who are seeing each other all the time, what are some of the ways you've, you've seen recognition that really works for the members? Well, really, the best way I've seen is, you know, when you're, you're all together, you're in a group, you're in a room, you know, bring somebody up on stage, bring them in front of the room, have them talk about their personal experiences, their success in the business. You know, mm -hmm. bring maybe two or three up in a, in a meeting, you know, give them, give them a 30 seconds, a minute and, uh, and just let them talk, let them, let them be the, the focal point for, for their time, give them the time and the light and uh, you know, just get, get a rotation going. Um, maybe they, they wear a, a badge or a button or some sort of magnet or, you know, something that shows their, the rank within the company, you know, that they have importance, they have some clout, um, you know, they know what they're talking about. Um, that really helps. Um, if you're going to to a uh, convention, you know, give awards out. So mm -hmm. this one company I was in, I I got to go up on stage. Now I wasn't the one to go up on stage at a big convention a lot, but I got to go up on stage because I always helped in the back of the room. I was helping set up AV. I was there early. I stayed late all the time, and they gave me like a big Buddha award. Like, <laughs> it was awesome. Like, but and, so important. And that's so interesting you say that because I see, you see it on Facebook and you see recognition. You see people who will like go to like the trophy shop and they'll order like just random awards that look the same. It's very other, personal. Yeah. That different. Take the time to do something personal. And I'm so happy to have you on the show today to share that story because I remember that moment. I was <laughs> happy of it. You got a cooler one than I got. Uh, back I think you got there. a plate or something, right? Yeah, I got I got like a random cowboy on a a, a horse. I remember that. Right. It was like a wireframe cowboy, and it was <laughs> we got the huge Buddha. I got this wireframe cowboy, and I was like, dang, I would have taken the Buddha. Uh, but what was so cool was that they took the time to think about personalities of the person. They took the mm -hmm. time to think about what was special to them, and it made a big difference. And yep. And I, I love the pin piece as well, you know, giving people that recognition of, oh, wait a minute, what, what does that mean, right? It's kind of visual where you see someone, or whether they have, you know, the badge with two items on it or five items on it. Some of you guys have flags, stars, flowers, all sorts of stuff on yours. Um, yeah, whatever. Yep, yeah, whatever it is for your company, um, it was really cool when people were physically together um, to have that. It kind of became this um, unspoken honor thing when you meet someone one of the things i thought was really special about that and thought we could mention on the show for everybody is um, when you have a company where people get together physically a lot in that company and maybe they're doing group presentations um, that that badge or whatever that was the pin or whatever it was it actually helped a lot when people would come from out of state right because you'd have visitors from out of mm -hmm. state or visitors that maybe people didn't know but then they'd show up and they'd have the same insignia or the same uh, badge on their suit coat and it was a way to say, wow, look at that. That person's been through what I've been through. That person's yeah. accomplished. It's like a, a name tag for your company. It tells you, it tells other people, you know, this person has achieved this rank and they, you know, they've, they've been through the, the trial, uh, yeah. the trials, they've yeah. done those stuff. And, you know, if you, you need help, go talk to that person. 
is they've been there for sure. <laughs> exactly. You know, one of the things I think is real important for us to recognize is, you know, when Mark Marshall and I did that years ago, right? That's still applicable today if you're meeting together physically, but so many of you today don't get together physically very much anymore, right? You may get together for those big quarterly events or semi-annual events where you can do the personalized gifts uh, like Marshall was sharing, but what should you do in social media? And so, Mark, what are some of the ideas you've seen folks do in social media? You know, the easiest and probably the most effective one is just have a little template that you have, like a like almost a certificate template. Paste their their picture on it. You know, pull their profile picture out, put it on the certificate, and you know, give an achievement of of um, you know ten meeting ten meetings booked in a week or something like that. Yeah. And your Facebook page, the company Facebook page, they're going to get recognition f- from the whole company. And it's like, hey, hey, I was on there. That, that's right. They noticed what I have done. And it really, it really helps them know that they're appreciated and that their efforts are noticed. It yeah. works. I love that idea. I've seen folks do the, the accomplishments like that. I've also seen them do it uh, in a format of like a rank upgrade, right? When someone breaks a rank for the first time and they recognize them that way of, hey, so-and-so's just hit director, you know, so-and-so's hit diamond director, right? It, it's really cool to edify them in front of their own friends and in front of the people around their world. Like, hey, they're kicking butt. Yeah. Hey, this person's doing it. I mean, I've seen on websites where, where companies, you know, they'll pay for advertising for somebody who hit a new, you know, purple diamond ruby rank, right? Yeah. And they, they pay for advertising to go out on that website. So it's even third party verification. And that's super cool too. Yeah. I see that on business for home all the time. Ted's site yep. does that a lot. I know that companies take advantage of press releasing their people hitting a certain rank and just bringing industry validation to them inside of that. And it's amazing when it's posted on something like that, right, Marshall? Because they're not just getting thank yous from P- or congratulation notes from people within their company. They, they now start to get thank yous and congratulation notes from people with other companies, right? And yeah. recognize them as a leader. One of the last pieces that I've seen that I, I thought, I was like, wow, that's cool. That makes a difference. It's really fun. Is taking some of your key metrics, some of the things that you do that are just a key part of your business, and when you have a system like some of the platforms that uh, our staff set up here at Nexum, uh, you can measure a lot of activities that your members are doing. And one yep. of the things that's neat is if you're doing like a motivational call for the distributors each week or some sort of a standard weekly live uh, training presentation via webinar is have a top 10 list, have a top 20 list. And at the beginning of your calls, you're welcoming people on go ahead and recognize those folks. If something you measure is most new distributor enrollments or most new product sales or most new pack sales or most people registered for the company closing webinar, right? Whatever key metrics you have, some of you have physical events, most people in the room at physical events, right? Whatever those KPIs are, right? The key performance indicators, your your key metrics for growing your business, right? Go ahead and pick two or three of those and then every week, recognize the top 10 or 20 people in the company who have done that activity. The results are gonna be super fun because people are gonna be able to hear those, see those, and they're gonna want their name to be in those. And you know, maybe for the top three on that list, give them a $20 Amazon card. I mean, everybody loves Amazon money, right? Like yeah. you can always do something with that. <laughs> yeah, what, yeah, whatever the incentive is, right? Some of you can do even free product of your own company, right? Mm-hmm. Others of you that are a service-based company, Amazon gets that great idea, right? It's think of a reward that makes sense and make it fun. You know, Marsha, I want to thank you so much for joining me here on the call today. I'm wishing all of you here in the States a happy Thanksgiving week. For those of you out of the States, you can always be thankful. So no worries. You can celebrate too. Just eat a lot of food on Thursday with the rest of us and you'll be right on the right track. But I want to encourage you that take one of these items today, post in the comments below of which one you're going to do uh, with your team today. Post in here which one you're going to start doing. Whether you're the owner of a direct sales company or just a leader, you can do these, right? You don't have to wait. You don't have to be CEO of the MLM to implement these things and get results with recognition and gratitude, right? You can be anybody on the team and do this recognizing people inside of your own group. So Marshall, sure. thank you so much for being on the call today. Wishing you well, guys- Ben, I want to 
I want to thank you two for having me. It was awesome. Uh, you know, everyone have an awesome Thanksgiving. Eat some turkey. If you're vegetarian, eat some tofu. If you're vegan, have what vegan eat. <laughs> Whatever. It's not an animal product. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. All right, folks. Have a blessed day. Bye for now.